Hey there, we have like eons of stories to tell, so if you want to follow us along on this journey and, and keep up with all the stories that we have putting out, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hey, what is up everybody? Chad here, and um, today we're going to be starting a new story. So since we have uh, the, the TV show of uh, She-Hulk coming out, I think we're going to do, uh, I'm going to just like do this story of uh, World War She-Hulk. Now, before y'all say anything, okay, look, do not get your hopes up. If y'all have read World War Hulk, the story is not as good. <laughs> it's not as good as that. World War Hulk was ridiculously good. It had ridiculous amounts of hype. It this story is not that, okay? <laughs> Just a disclaimer, okay? Because I'm pretty sure y'all are going to like, what was she Hulk? Oh my god. No. Um the story is solid though. It, it, it is a good story. It's basically like um She Hulk, she's basically like getting taken over by the Winter Guard. The Winter Guard ignore them they're they're so irrelevant like I, no one cares about the winter guard there's only like one interesting character there the rest of them are just like okay whatever they're basically like the russian version of the avengers like that's that's basically all they are like no so um let's start with this story okay so first part of this story um you basically pick up with she hulk right and she's like you know she's like bounded like in this room right basically the red room okay so basically like she's in there and they have someone like on the intercom like talking to her you know asking her like 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 you know like where are you at you know like like why are you here you know stuff like that and she's basically like saying like i don't i don't know i can't remember like i, I don't know why i'm here and um so we, uh, we go back to like uh like like before this right and we have the gorilla man uh kenneth hale he's like a really old character you know he was like made in like the 50s you know like he's, I, I, I never really care about him uh but yeah like he he's like swinging around avengers mansion right he goes to the um to the uh the teleportation room right so he goes in there and like uh he starts like messing with it right and basically what he does is he teleports in the winter guard these guys are so irrelevant like nobody cares about them at all they have like their own version of like iron man that's crimson dynamo uh like uh, Cap uh captain america that's like uh vanguard Vostok, like he he's supposed to be vision dark star supposed to be captain uh marvel but but Red Widow, the one like the the, the girl with like the, the looks like a little assassin, she's the only interesting one here. She's basically like went through the same. She's basically like the Black Widow of the uh, of the team. She basically went through the same like you know, Red Room that that Black Widow went through. You know like basically turned her into an assassin pretty much. So we found out that he teleported them here, and basically what they're here to do is kidnap She Hulk. So uh, She Hulk, she's like training with Captain Marvel right now. And like while they're talking, you know, uh, she's basically like Captain Marvel, basically trying to keep uh, She-Hulk like you know calm, control, you know all that stuff. Uh, and Dark Star and uh, Crimson Dynamo, they both like fly up to him and you know just uh, start fighting him off, basically trying to uh, kidnap uh, She-Hulk. So Crimson Dynamo, he flies up to her and like he he dismantles his suit and like has it like attached to uh, She-Hulk, basically you know like to make like a, a a body prison pretty much. So that ends up flying out. And uh, what we see is Gorilla Man, he actually goes back to Tony Stark, and he just like starts beating, like he just starts crushing Tony Stark, he just starts beating the hell out of him. So, with that going on, uh, She-Hulk, she actually like makes her way out of the uh, the Crimson Dynamo suit, like you know, she like rips her way out of it, you know, starts ripping it up and all that stuff. And that's when we get Ursa Major, the, the big bear, and uh, Vanguard, the, the fake Captain America. And they just start like, you know, attacking pretty much, you know, they end up like, you know, wrapping her up and stuff. And like, uh red widow she comes in with like this bazooka a little like sonic gun and like starts blasting her you know trying to like knock her out pretty much but that uh but but she hulk you know after she does uh after fuck, after she does that she just starts like wrecking everybody she like starts throwing all of them because none of them they, they can't really like you know like hold her like like she hulk is like ridiculously more powerful than any of these guys so um but volstock he ends up like walking behind her right he flies up and he just like incapacitates her with like this this like goo right so with that happening, they end up taking her away. They go back to the teleportation pad, and um, Gorilla Man, he starts, like, trying to, uh, you know, like, send them back, pretty much. Because, you know, they just, you know, basically fulfilled their mission. You know, they're basically, like, arresting her for whatever, you know, stuff like that. So, while they're doing that, Ursa Major, he's, like, talking to, uh, to the Gorilla Man. You know, he's trying to see, like, what's going on, you know. Because he's basically, like, trying to uh, keep T'Challa there. To, uh, to basically, like, you know, stop the the Winter Guard, pretty much. You know, like, he's basically, like, a, in, he, he's basically a spy, pretty much. <laughs> But Red Widow, she finds out, she goes up to him and stabs him right in the throat, kills him right on the spot. He's dead. Now, Gorilla Man, he, he can't die, okay? He was supposed to, he, he, he's trying to die. That's basically like the deal that he made with Red Widow and the, like, the Winter Guard that they would basically like kill him. But they didn't do that. They actually went back on their word. So now he's just sitting there like, you know, pissed off, you know, crying and stuff because he basically was supposed to die. He wanted to die, you know, he wanted to give up his life basically. And he had them, you know, doing that stuff just so he could, but you know, it's... They, they, they went back on the word pretty much. Now, back when she's in prison, 
imprisoned in the uh, the red room, you know, they're still like talking to her pretty much. They basically like starting to like to um to like explain, you know, like where she is, you know, basically the red room, you know, like the the assassin program that you know some people get put through, black uh, black widow, uh, the the Winter Soldier, you know, all those kind of people. So with that going on, this is where we get like the the little rescue mission, right? So she's in there, and uh, basically what's going on outside is you have Captain America and Iron Man, right? So Captain America and Iron Man, they're in Russia, right? It's like all like it's like all kinds of like snow and all that kind of stuff. So basically, you could tell you could tell that they're like going in like stealthy because like they both have these like these light blue suits on. It's basically like you know like sort of whitish to like trying to blend in with the snow. They go in, they just start dismantling all of the guards here. They end up getting this door. You know, Iron Man he like hacks into it pretty much, and they're basically going here to try to find you know uh, She Hulk because they know where she is. You know, they're like okay, let me go see what it is here. So um. She Hulk, she's in the red room, you know, she's trying to keep herself calm. And then uh, eventually they're just like asking her, they're like, okay, you're a Hulk, right? And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm She Hulk, you know, and, and, and they're just like, okay, a Hulk, you know, you're a Hulk. So what do Hulks do? And she like busts out of the red room, she, you know, she starts smashing everything. She just like starts running throughout the entire building, just destroying everything. And she's basically trying to find a person who's like talking to her, you know, a red widow. And she walks up into a room and all of these little girls, you know, they have like these little spiders on their faces. They just start like shooting at her. Like they're basically just like, you know, just trying to take her down pretty much. So. With that going on, they end up incapacitating her, and uh, basically, uh, this is where we get like a little explanation of like what, what's going on, pretty much. So, um, uh, the Hulk, like she has like like ridiculous amounts of radiation inside of her, like gamma radiation. There's like crazy amounts of it. Frostock, he like walks up and says like, if all of that radiation were to come out, the like that side of the country would be like you know uninhabitable for like at least two thousand years, pretty much. And like Red Widow, you know, she's like talking about how she basically was in the uh, you know like how she was only in there for like you know a week, and you know she started like killing puppies and you know like drinking her insides you know decide, like talking about how like like crazy she went inside this room and basically the hulk is basically uh, basically able to like you know keep herself sane pretty much so so we get uh captain american iron man they're inside the building and they get ran up on by a vanguard and crimson dynamo now these guys still no one cares about them you know they were like it, it, irrelevant so um iron man you know he, he starts blasting vanguard captain america he starts fighting off crimson dynamo and uh captain marvel outside you know they're talking to her outside you know she's like up there and like dark star comes out there she gets incapacitated immediately so um they go they do that and uh like uh red widow while they're doing that they're coming into the building you know like they're they're infiltrating they're already getting in there she goes in there with a the gun and she go uh goes just like start trying to fight uh captain marvel pretty much right so she goes in there she starts starts shooting captain marvel and what she does is she she's like you know like basically she doesn't shoot them with bullets basically she's like shooting her with like these little pellets and these pellets like they form into like uh like thread pretty much like like webbing you know to like incapacitate him so she incapacitates captain marvel and uh basically what happens is while Vostok is like, like you know, trying to trying to take over the mind of She-Hulk, she blasts him away. She like she disintegrates his entire like robot body pretty much. So Captain Marvel, she breaks out of the little webbing that she was in, and she like like she like throws Red Widow into like the ceiling, right? And, you know, he, he, she wraps her up, like wraps up her arm pretty much. So she knocks her out. You know, she has her like hanging by her arm, you know, stuff like that. And we get uh, She-Hulk, you know, she runs outside like where everyone else is at. All of them are fighting that. And she just starts beating the hell out of everybody. Like Captain America, Crimson Dynamo, everyone is just getting busted up. Vanguard, they're, they're just getting like crushed, all of them. So um, basically like everybody here is like confused as to what's going on. Like Iron Man, he even asks, he's like, okay, does she know that that's that's not us or is it like does she just not care like is she <laughs> is she just like beating everybody up just cuz like I, I hope she knows that they, like, that's, that's not us pretty much so with that going on Captain America he calls in the rest of the Avengers pretty much he calls in the rest of the Avengers Ghost Rider he shows up uh, like everybody's you know showing up stuff like that now amidst the rubble this is where we uh see that uh, Red Widow she actually like cut off her own arm so that she could basically get away pretty much so she cut off her arm she's one arm down She's walking away and she's basically like talking to somebody, uh, talking to somebody on like the, the like a like communicator. Um, so what she's saying is she's basically saying that like her mission was like fulfilled, you know, and um, uh, that basically they're, they have a target pretty much. They basically like kidnapped the uh, She-Hulk, tried to brainwash her, you know, to basically take out their target, basically saying that they couldn't do it themselves. And now they have the Winter Hulk, the World War She-Hulk. Alright, so if you're new to the uh, channel, subscribe. If you enjoyed the story, leave a like. The, ne the, the next part of this story is actually going to be, like, really good. Like, it's crazy, like, the stuff that they... Because, like, their they're target, you know, he's, he's they're going to uh, go down, like, into the water. Basically, go try to, like, find Namor, basically. That's who they're basically trying to take out, you know. So, they're, uh, that, that fight will be, like, pretty legit, pretty much. So, um, 
If you enjoyed the story, leave a like, and I'll see y'all in the next one.